Today, we finally got confirmation that there's going to be a Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, as well as a few other upgrades to the lineup, so make sure you hit subscribe now and we'll get right into it. So first up, before we get into the Ultra details, we got a tweet from Crow and he advises that the Z Fold 6 is going to be getting an anti-reflective coating on the display. It's most likely going to be the Gorilla Glass armor that we saw on the recent S24 Ultra. And after reviewing the S24 Ultra, I actually find that this anti-reflective coating works really well and makes the display much easier to see both inside and in daylight. But it's important to mention that this will of course be for the cover display that uses glass and it won't be for the inner folding display. Now we've previously seen patterns for Samsung's new IronFlex screen protection and this is going to be used for the inner display, but given the nature of a folding display, it's unlikely to be anywhere near as good as the Gorilla Glass armor, although one thing we do expect is less creasing in the center of the display. Now next up, we've got confirmation on the charging speeds of both the new Z Fold 6 and the Flip 6 thanks to their 3C certification. And while it doesn't confirm much, it does confirm that they're going to be using the same charger as the Fold 5, and this means 25 watt fast charging. While it's fast enough, it's still a little bit disappointing considering the fast charge speeds that we're seeing on other smartphones, and Samsung are falling behind a bit in fast charging. Now next up, we've got great news about a cheaper Fold coming, and even better news is expected to launch from around $800. A new report claims that there's going to be a reduction of specs, which include things like the display, the processor, and the battery. However, it does state that it's going to be keeping the same camera system, but also that it's a dual camera setup. Now, given the fact that it mentions a dual camera and the price is around $800, this no doubt means the budget foldable is going to be a budget version of the Flip and not the Fold. And it's also reported that launch is going to be later on in September, which also makes sense, as a cheaper Flip release around that time could help Samsung compete with the iPhone 16 launch. Now, next up, we finally got some confirmation on the Z Fold 6 Ultra that we had rumors of very early on. And it seems that it is happening, but it's not what we'd hoped for. Now, Galaxy Club have reported that it's coming, and it's been discovered under the model number SM-F958N. And we don't know what the ultra aspects of the phone are yet, whether it's going to be a bigger display, a bigger battery, and a better camera system. But what we do know is that it's only going to be a limited release. Now, according to the report, it looks like the Z Fold 6 Ultra may only be released in South Korea. And this is, of course, going to be very disappointing for the rest of the world. Now, of course, we already had the leaked renders from OnLeaks showing us the Z Fold 6, which confirmed it's got a new and improved form factor, which is both thinner and lighter. We've also got plenty of other upgrades, like a better display, processor, and more. So for those excited for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6, we're now going to run through the full specs, design, and the expected pricing. So make sure you hit subscribe now, and we'll get right into it. So with the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6, we get a 7.6-inch foldable 120Hz dynamic AMOLED display. While it's the same size as its predecessor, we're expecting improvements in brightness, color accuracy, as well as durability. It's coming with a resolution of 1812 by 2176 and it's going to be protected by Samsung's newest ultra-thin glass. Now, there's also going to be less visible creasing in the center of the new foldable display, as well as water and dust resistance. For the external display, we get a 120Hz dynamic AMOLED protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 3. It's going to be a 6.2-inch display, and while the current resolution is unknown at the moment, Samsung are reportedly working on a much wider aspect ratio, and we're also going to see improvements to the brightness and color accuracy, and it will, of course, have a punch hole camera in the top center. Now, the selfie cameras are going to be a 10-megapixel wide-angle camera on the cover display, followed by a 4-megapixel under-display camera on the internal display. And then over on the rear, it's a 50 megapixel primary camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, and then a 10 megapixel telephoto with three times optical zoom. Now it's actually the same camera system used in the predecessor, but hopefully we will still see some improvements thanks to the software. It's going to be powered up by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 globally, and we get 12 gigabytes of RAM with up to one terabyte of storage. And this will of course be UFS 4.1. It's coming with a 4,400 milliamp hour battery, and while fast charging is still currently unknown, we're hoping for improvements to both wired as well as wireless charging. 
In terms of connectivity, we get advanced 5G, Bluetooth 5.3 and Wi-Fi 7, and then we also get ultra-wideband support, and it's coming with One UI 6 based on Android 14, and it's expected to launch from $1,850 in August 2024. So the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 is beginning to look like the Fold that we've all been waiting for, with a new form factor on top of all of the other upgrades like better displays, a better chipset and a better camera system, it should be an incredible folding phone. Now, given that the Fold series has remained the same for such a long time, it's refreshing to see some more changes to the design, although personally, I would have liked the form factor to be just a little bit wider. It was exciting to hear about the Z Fold 6 Ultra, and I'm sure many people would actually buy it, so it's a little bit disappointing that it's going to be for South Korea only. And given that the Z Fold 6 has many similarities to its predecessor, I can't imagine anyone with a Fold 5 rushing for an upgrade, but for those with an earlier Fold or looking to get their first Fold, then it could be a great choice. Now, of course, the official launch isn't going to be until July this year, but in the coming months, we're no doubt going to receive more and more leaks, and I'll be sharing them as soon as they come in. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing in the future.